All right, let's continue our analysis of the national matric results. How well did the class of 2021 do in maths? To help answer this question, we speak to Dr. Batsiva Mofolo Mbokani, a lecturer in mathematics education at Wits University. Uh, Doc, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Uh, looking at the numbers, uh, there was an increase in the number of people who wrote mathematics. There was an increase in the percentage of the people who passed mathematics. Is that a sign that we're moving in the right direction, or do those statistics not reveal the entire picture? You know, there is an increase in, in the results, a, a pass rate for now of 57.6%, uh, comparing to last year the 2020, one would say the 2021 cohort did better than the 2020, 2020 cohort. And one would say, you know, we wonder what happened. There was COVID, but basically it says the students did well. One is saying the teachers did well. You know, we have the SIP where teachers continue to train uh, the learners. You know, if one look at it nationally, if you look at the number of students that wrote mathematics, 259,143, we have a 57.6% pass rate, which is uh, 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 not too bad. But if you compare it to other subjects, we've got our gateway subjects. Uh, mathematics being there at 57.6% is low compared to other subjects if you compare it. We've got history at 89.5%. We've got business studies, 80.5%. Mathematical literacy, 74.5%. The math result still remains low compared to the rest of the other subjects. One can say why we know what math is all about. It has some specific content areas that need to be attended to. So if you can look at other provinces, one can say, how do other provinces manage to, to get the high pass rate in maths? Uh, you think of uh, a province like uh, uh, Western Cape, the pass rate is 73.3 in maths. It is followed by Northwest, you know? So how do they manage to get it high? <laughs> if you look at the statistics, the numbers of learners are a bit lower uh, who are writing maths compared to one, the, the ones that are writing mathematical literacy. literacy. Your, so one can say some province managed to get it right by having the uh, low number of students writing mathematics. Uh, if I talk about the distinctions in mathematics, if you compare the 2022, 2021 and 2020 results in percentage of distinctions, even though the results went up, but then there's a drop in percentage uh, from 3.2%, it is now 3%, the, the drop in percentage of distinctions. So that says we have to find out mm. what happened. We've got high pass rate, but the percentage of students in maths are a bit low, 3%. What are the mechanisms that we could use, Doc, to improve the overall performance in maths, bring it on par with some of the other subjects, like you mentioned? You know, mathematics is a very specialized subject. If you think of mathematics and you think you'll start, you know, looking at being serious when you are at FET stage, that is too late. You know, foundation of mathematics, starting with the foundation phase, that's where we should start. I'll just uh, talk a little bit about AMESA. Uh, I'm the vice president of AMESA, which is uh, for mathematics education in the country. We have some WhatsApp groups from foundation phase, intermediate phase, senior phase, and FET phase, where teachers exchange ideas, papers, question papers, you know, whatever they have to improve the mathematics. So I can say we have nationally started that because this is a national WhatsApp platform. Uh, if we have teachers focusing on maths from foundation phase, if you think about the past, foundation phase was never given a lot of attention when coming to teacher training in the past. And we still have those many teachers at foundation phase. If you can bring in workshop, DBE working with AMESA, DBE working with universities, we can have the maths result improving. You cannot all of a sudden start at, at FET. If at Sina phase, it must be where the maths, uh, 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 you know, content is really left. Because at Sina phase, we have the students moving from grade seven, you know, switching to a grade eight at high school. That transition is not so simple. So you need strong teachers to be at grade eight, grade nine, so that when they choose 
at grade 10. They already have the background. So you have strong teachers being at grade 11 and grade 12. And you have weaker teachers at grade 8 to 9, 10. That must be really changed. And that can be done if we as teacher training university as well, you know, assist in terms of teacher development as well in conjunction with DBE. I think yeah. that can really help us as a country. Yeah, because yes. sometimes, sometimes you still get teachers themselves uh, grappling with the principles, so that would go a long way to improving the performance. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Dr. Vatsiba Mufolo Mbokani, a maths lecturer at Wits University. Meanwhile, for me